I'm trying a test here. trying a test here. Um, apparently I turned off comments or something uh, inadvertently when I turned it up. Um, okay, there we go. So now people can comment and people can uh, like and that sort of thing and, and everybody's happy. Um, <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. It's like, okay, I'm just going to keep talking here and maybe maybe folks are, are watching. Um, well, no, it's good to... <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm still new to this thing. So... Um, Anyhow, I covered what I planned to cover, so I don't see any reason why we can't do some uh, some Q and A. So, does anyone have any questions or, or comments uh, that? Uh, yeah, I, th I think it might make some sense to do that uh, for certain broadcasts, but it's usually not my um, it's usually not my objective to to prevent people from uh, asking questions and so forth. So, the sound is better. Hmm. I don't have the microphone in, so. Um, <clears throat> Maybe that's a. Uh, I can't notify my Twitter Twitter followers because I am uh, suspended from Twitter. In fact, I actually had it on, and there was a message saying this can't um, this can't go to uh, Twitter. So, oh, thank you. Uh, somebody said they just bought my new book. Um, that's cool. Let me try plugging the microphone in. We'll see. We'll see whether folks like it better or not. Uh, my my suspension is permanent. Um, Oh, I've got the wrong side there. I guess I was flipping around. I've never have any idea where where it goes in. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, so this is without, and this is with the microphone. So is that better? Is that worse? Same? Did, did I? Is it worse? Better without? Huh? That's really ridiculous. I don't. What is the point? What is the point of this? So, okay. No, my my Twitter. I, I mean, let me let me see. The <coughs> my Twitter account is is still there. It's it's banned. Or it's, it's not banned. I'm not banned. But um, the uh, uh, they have it it's suspended or it's locked so that I need to like give them a phone number and all that sort of thing in order to open it up again. And so. Um, so it's clear with the mic, just quieter. Okay, well maybe if I plug it in, but I try talking a little louder. How about that? We'll try that. So, um, <laughs> no. Well, if you can't hear me at all, that's probably that's probably uh, your volume control. So, okay. Well, we'll we'll do this. We'll stick with this. Um, anyhow, the the yeah, you know, we're going to be. Uh, how many are most of you on Gab? Um, you're just, don't don't do any likes for a second. I, I want to I want to just get a quick rough count here. Um, if you're on Gab, hit uh, hit the likes, hit the hearts. Okay, so a fair number of people. Okay, that's that's good. Now stop, everybody stop. Okay. Now if you're not no no stop. <laughs> Don't, don't don't hit it don't hit any don't hit any likes don't hit any hearts for a second okay now if you're only if you're not on gab if you're only on Twitter hit the hearts okay yeah so it's about it looks like it's probably around 60 40 60 40 would be my my guess um, okay so Anyhow, what, what's going on is starting next week, um, I am going to be uh, doing these streams from Gab. And so I, I believe that they'll be public access. I'm still going to do some of them here. You know, I'm not going to abandon uh, Periscope entirely. But, um, you know, th that's the, my, my long-term plan has always been to, to work with Gab, not with Twitter, because... Uh, you know, I, I don't like Twitter, and so, um, you know, they've they've suspended me twice now, um, and it's it's just a huge, <laughs> it's just a huge pain in the rear. Um, you know, I, I mean, I I literally cannot build, it, I can't build this uh, Periscope very very easily because you know I can't I can't get anything out on uh, you know Twitter will not um, uh, 
let people know that I'm broadcasting and so forth. So, um, so we're, you know, we're going to see, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm very, uh, open-minded uh, with regards to it. And, you know, if, if, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how the gab tech is, uh, maybe it'll be better. Maybe it'll be worse. There's only one way to find out. So, um, yeah, and actually, that some a couple of people just shared this on Twitter. That's something that you could do that would make it more viable on Twitter. Is if um, if when this goes live, if you hop on, if you um, if you're to let people know um, about it on Twitter, because I can't. So, um, will Trump be able to overthrow this halt to his travel ban? Yes, I have no doubt that he will. I don't know exactly how, but I'm sure that he will. Um, in terms of Trump holding back, well, I mean, the question is, is um, we'll have to see what, we'll just have to see what his plan is. I mean, he's got a lot on his plate right now. Um, there's stuff going on in Iran. There's uh, all sorts of stuff going on in Europe. Um, and so, uh, you know, I think that, that we just need to be patient. I mean, clearly he's very angry about the, the judge's interference uh, with the travel ban. And so, what I'd like to see, what I'm hoping for, is I'm hoping for him to come back with a, oh, you didn't like that one? Well, how are you going to like this? And, and see a much stronger uh, immigration ban and, and start seeing more repatriations and so forth. So so we'll have to see how it goes. Um, and uh, can I, well, the problem is I can't just create a different account because then there, is, I mean, I could create a different account, but then it's not tied to this one for the for the periscopes. So. Um, that's not really an option. I mean, that was something I thought of, but um, <coughs> so we'll see. Is Robert Reich crazier than Krugman? It certainly looks that way. Um, I mean, the idea that that the, um, the the idea that the, that the Antifa are really secret right wing people looking to make the left look bad. I mean, that's just insane. Although I have to say, that isn't even the craziest thing that I've I've read. Uh, recently, the craziest thing that I've read recently is the piece by David Brooks, where he said that the you know the proposition nation melting pot bullshit that is the founding myth of America. Well, it's not the founding myth of America; it's a complete myth. It has nothing to do with the founding of America whatsoever. It's a it's a twentieth early twentieth century myth. Um, and what what's funny is that then he said that the actual that that, that Trump and Bannon and not just Trump and Bannon, but Trump, Bannon, Farage, uh, Le Pen, and uh, who was the other one? I can't remember the other one he mentioned, but um, he mentioned that, he said that, that they all were following a Russian myth. Oh, Putin, yeah, Putin. I mean, it's just the idea that America first and nationalism is a Russian myth. I mean, this is somebody who has, has a, a real paranoia about the Tsar and the Cossacks and the pogroms. I mean, it's, it's, it was seriously the most ludicrous thing I've heard. Have I read all these books? Um, no, I have not read all of the maroon ones right there. But that's, that's the Cambridge medieval, or that's the Cambridge ancient history series. I haven't read all of those. I've read most of the green ones there. Um, and everything else, pretty much everything else I've read. So, um, now not everything is books. I mean, right there you see games and that's uh, ASL right there. Um, the other thing I have not read in the entirety is that is these books and these books are the 1911 Encyclopedia Britannica. And so, um, I have no, I mean, it's a reference. I, I, I'm not going to read an encyclopedia cover to cover. Um, what I'm really proud of, though, is all those books. Um, those are all Castalia House books that we publish. Uh, I actually work in this chair. This is my grandfather's chair, and I, uh, I use it quite happily. Uh, why 1911? That was just the, that was considered to be the best uh, edition of it. Um, you know, great scholars. It was before a lot of uh, modernism, uh, you know, and their and their lunatic in, interpretations of history. So, um, do I still see collapse before twenty? Uh, um, no, my prediction was twenty thirty three. 
Um, no, I'm not scoring Super Bowl tickets next year. Um, Iran pissed they got kicked out of Syria. No, I don't think so. They're they're just um, upset that. I mean, they're just you know pushing the envelope like they always do. Um, I don't think that's anything new. Collapse of what? Uh, the collapse of the USA as a political entity. Why don't I focus more on reviving Christianity? Because that's not really my area. Um, you know, I don't, uh, I mean, I think it's important. I definitely support it. I don't hide the fact that I'm a Christian. It doesn't, there are many things that are important, but um, it's not something that I'm particularly, uh, it, it's not something that fits my particular gifts. I can't even talk to most people of average intelligence. How am I going, you know, um, the kind of things that I'm going to talk about with regards to Christianity are not even going to, not even going to make sense to most people. You know, um, when I start talking about things that interest me, like the, the nature of the, the, the Trinity, the difference between the, uh, real Nicene Creed and the, the Constantinian Creed that people call the Nicene Creed and so forth. Uh, I mean, most people are not equipped to discuss that or think about that. I mean, yes, Christianity is absolutely vital to Western civilization. I think that it's vital for one's immortal soul, but um, it's it's not, uh, you know, I mean, you have to focus on what you're interested in, not just what is important, um, you know, and I mean, there's, there's Christianity, yeah, uh, I, I, ha I have written on, I mean, I have two books that, that deal with Christian related issues, you know, read the irrational atheist or read on the existence of gods, which is a debate with a atheist who, um, uh, a debate with an atheist that was judged by a Christian an agnostic and an atheist. Uh, no, I'm not single. I have been married for nearly 20 years. Um, I'm married to the lovely space bunny and, uh, and quite happily. So, um, the, uh, <laughs> um, is my grandfather Scandinavian? No, I am my quite, quite the opposite. Um, one of my great grandfathers actually rode with Pancho Villa. Uh, I'm actively involved in game development right now. Um, you know, I, I just finished working on a, on a, three-letter sports league game and uh, I'm working on uh, an automotive uh, game right now oh the course <laughs> space bunnies here yeah space bunnies my wife um, I'm the one who I'm the one who gave her that name um, yeah she is a beauty the uh, thoughts on testosterone um, clearly I have more than I need <laughs> um, Yes, Russia and the old Soviet bloc are important allies. Um, you know, it's interesting that that liberal democracy has proven to be worse for nations than communism. You know, as, as horrible as communism was, as, as terrible as it was, and as totally ineffective uh, an economic system as it was, it has actually turned out to be better for those nations. You know, Poland is still Poland. Is the United States still America? Not really. Do I actively try to increase my T levels? Mm, no, other than just lifting weights. Um, no, I, I've never really been into playing role-playing games. Um, I like reading Traveler, but I never uh, really played it much. I return to music. Paul and I talk about you know reviving and doing some recording and stuff now and then, but we, we uh, he never really seems to quite be able to find the time, unfortunately. I'd, I'd love to keep you know love to record some new psychosonic stuff with Paul, but. Um, I have no thoughts on Canada. I'm not interested in Rogaine. I'm perfectly fine. Uh, you know, I'm fine with the shaven head look. Um, certainly, may, certainly makes it easy getting out of bed. Yes, the, well, those are my books in terms of I own them. Um, about 13 of them are books that I've, I've published. Uh, yes, Advanced Squad Leader is definitely my favorite board game. Uh, hoping to get a scenario here and with my son soon. Uh, Nikki Haley, I don't know and don't care. Um, 
I'm, you know what she can say whatever she wants about Rush. I don't think it matters. Um, I'm glad. Actually, it's funny. Somebody said you have a nice skull. What's amusing about that is um, when I was in college, no, not not after college. I was I was into martial arts, and I did a, a lot of. Um, you know, I was I was kind of in my perfect warrior phase, and so I'd shave my head clean. Um, I was probably maybe twenty four at the time, twenty three or twenty four. <laughs> my my grandmother, her reaction was, "Oh, he has such a perfect skull," and she was telling everyone that it was okay because my my skull was nice, which I think goes to show that grand grandmothers um, are always inclined to look on the the bright side of things. Um, the martial art I did was a mix of uh, you know, Wing Chun, Shonru Karate, and Kali from the Philippines. Um, it was good. It was, it was very, it was very brutal. Um, got knocked out once. Uh, used to love Total War, loved the original Total War. Um, and, uh, then it went downhill. Um, I did meet, uh, Paul from Ministry once, and we actually, Psychosan, I actually recorded with the guy who, um, was the Psalm 69 engineer. So, um, so that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm a big ministry fan. So, you know, Jesus built my hot rod is probably one of my, one of my, uh, top 10 favorite songs. I'm not really a Witcher fan, but I am a fan of good old games. Um, I have an embarrassing number of, uh, games in my, in my GOG library. Um, yeah, love those guys. Crusader Kings, I... I've tried Crusader Kings twice. I just haven't gotten into it. Um, I, I keep meaning to like take the time, um, but well, yeah. What a lot of you probably don't realize is that I'm I'm a uh, three-time Billboard Top 40 Club Chart Recording Artist. Um, my band was uh, Psychosonic, and we were signed to Wax Tracks and TBT Records. Um, I appreciate you buying new books. Um, you know, that's one of our ways of encouraging people to. Keep, keep reading Castelia books and buying Castelia books and keeping up with the, the new releases is, um, you know, we give the bonus books when we, when we do a new launch. And there's a, there's a new, I'm a huge cult fan, huge cult fan. Um, the, uh, let, let's see, um, the, I have no idea what, what the last question was. Um, but, um, yeah, if, I mean, if you look up, uh, uh <laughs> Um, the, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what, the, I don't know who Jordan Peterson is. So uh, somebody keeps asking me if I want to talk to Jordan Peterson games. I've developed, uh, the rebel moon series. Um, I developed, uh, traveler, the RPG, which never got released. Um, I, I did the, I designed the game hot dish, which was pretty popular. Um, and, um, uh, I've worked on another other games that I don't talk about just because um, Age of Conan is probably the best known game that I was at all involved with. I was brought in to try to fix it at one point. Um, they did not listen to me. It was not fixed. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyhow, you know what 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 we're focusing on right now is um, is Castelia House. Um, that's our publishing house. We've got some great new authors. On Monday, we have a uh, John Wright's book, Daughter of Dangers, coming out. Uh, no, I do not smoke marijuana. Uh, I'm a wine guy. I, I, I live in wine country, and I, uh, I am prone to having a, a glass with oh, definitely red. <laughs> I, the only white wine I touch is Prosecco. But... Uh, yeah, in fact, if you want if you want a uh, tip, check out uh, a Spanish wine called Tempranillo. It's it's fantastic. It's really good stuff. Um, how does John churn out so many books? I have no idea. The man is like a machine. I, I've I, I've never known anyone who is more prolific uh, at a higher level than him. Um, I, I wish I was anywhere nearly that prolific. I'm 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 a much slower writer than than many of the, the authors that we publish. Um, the, uh, oh, Tempranillo is not overrated. It's fantastic stuff. How am I productive? Um, I'm, I usually, yeah, I kind of feed off the negative energy, but yeah, you know, the more, the more, um, the more criticism and stuff I gain, that that's the kind of stuff I, I feed off. If I like 
getting criticism. I like it when, you know, people are, you know, saying nasty stuff and taking shots and that sort of thing. You know, that's the kind of thing when it's two in the morning, it gives me energy. You know, I feel like turning in. I'm like, no, no, you know, fuck it. I need to, you know, I, I need to get this done. And so, but, but I've, I've always been that way. I mean, my, you know, I ran a division one um, track in college and I remember my sophomore year, uh, a hurdler went to the coach and said, you know, please don't yell at me like you yell at him. You'll make me cry. And, uh, and you know, the, the coach said, hey, you know, that's what works for him. You know, he, he needs the negative. Have I ever admitted being wrong? Yeah, of course, all the time. Um, I was wrong about free trade. You know, my position on free, my, my position on free trade was wrong. Um, I was wrong about Hillary uh, winning the presidency when Obama did. You know, I, I couldn't believe that she managed to blow that. I, I predicted her that she would be president, you know, before Obama even got in the race. And I thought that she was going to blow Obama away easily. So, um, uh, anyhow, no, I'm not particularly interested in talking to some professor. Um, I mean, more power to him, but uh, when do I think the world will end? I have no idea. I don't have an opinion on that. So, um, but yeah, the the, um, the books that you might want to check out, another book, let me recommend another book that we just published today. Um, and and uh, it's, it's by a fantastic writer, a guy named um, uh, Christopher Hallpike. And C.R. Hallpike is called Do We Need God to Be Good? And uh, we just published it today. You can find it pretty much everywhere. Amazon, Castellia House Store, uh, iTunes, you name it. Uh, Kobo. And uh, it's fantastic because he addresses evolutionary psychology, but he's an anthropologist. So basically, he's able to, not basically, he's able to call bullshit on all their fairy telling, on all their fairy tales. And so, um, you know, it, it, it's something that, that I would, you know, highly recommend um, if you have any interest in the sort of Christianity, atheism discussion. I would definitely recommend picking up uh, Do We Need God to Be Good? It's fantastic. Um, evolution, I, I believe in evolution as in change, but I don't believe in it uh, in terms of the theorem of uh, evolution by mostly natural selection and sexual selection and so forth. You can look up on the blog, click under evolution, you'll find all kinds of stuff. I've, I've, I've talked to biologists, I've talked to uh, scientists, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, and you'll, you'll, you'll get some of that. Um, so end game. And I know nothing about Venezuela, so I, I couldn't possibly say, um, uh, anyhow, uh, well, thanks for swinging by again for the second time. Um, I'm, I'm sorry about, uh, earlier and, and the fact that, uh, you couldn't do any comments then. So I'll, I'll try not to, 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 um, do that. Uh, and no, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about having a happy marriage, I, I just try to uh, try to do what I can to to do my part to contribute to having a happy marriage. You know, I'm, I'm very fortunate. Um, I'm very fortunate in my choice of wife. I'm very lucky that uh, she chose me over her many other options. Um, and I hope all of you are, are as fortunate in, in your own choice of husband and wife. Uh, Atob is finished. A Throne of Bones is finished. What are you talking about? I see a skulls. I grant you. So anyhow, uh, have a good evening. Take it easy and we'll catch you later.